Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some fun yard sale finds from over the weekend, um, and then a couple of TJ Maxx things, so I'm just going to get started. The first two things I have I picked up for my niece, and they are Shopkins things. She's into those right now. So I have a bakery playset, and it actually came with like two little guys in it. And then there's a Shoe Dazzle playset, and this was a quarter, this one was 75 cents. I picked up this wooden tray, which I'm going to try and sand or maybe even use like a chisel um, to make it look more like a dough bowl so it's not so like finished, it's got kind of like a rustic look. And I got this along with this book for a dollar. And this book is Colonial Architecture of Cape Cod. And I just thought it was cool because our house is a Cape Cod. and. Um, I didn't really get a chance to go through much of it yet. I just looked through it briefly like while we were there. But it just shows like old architecture type pictures. Um, so those two together were a dollar. And they were in a really cool old house. Um, like one of those ones where you go in and the ceilings are probably like 15 feet tall. And it's just really majestic and neat. Like one of those houses that you would love to have as a project if you had the money. Um, so let's see. I went to another yard sale. And I picked up some fairy garden supplies, which I don't have because I gave them to my mom already to put in my niece's um, fairy garden. But for a dollar, I got a bag with like tables and chairs and a little bicycle and things like that, that with all stakes on them so you could put them into the soil. At that same yard sale, I found this water bottle. And it just says, I love pink, just add water. And if you buy these in, in the pink store, they're between like $15 and $20 usually. So I thought that was a really great deal. And I also picked up a shower gel at that same one. And this is Calgon Sweet Crush. And it's a pink grapefruit and peach. And I already have the body spray of this and I liked it. I just didn't find any of like the lotions or the washes in the store. So when I found that I thought it was cool. And so I had this. This water bottle that I showed you and the fairy garden supplies. And they were all $2 together. I have a couple more beauty products because anytime I find Bath and Body Works stuff, I try and pick it up because it's usually a great deal. So I have this one here, which is a full size, and it's Country Chic. And I paid two dollars for this. This one has a description. So it's lemon, marigold, golden sunflower with a subtle glow of orange blossom and amber wood. This really just smells kind of like just like wildflowers. It's a really nice scent. This next one, um, it was full. I've already used that much of it. I paid a dollar for this one. This one I love. This smells like some kind of a tropical drink. And it's Coconut Lime Breeze. And I'm going to see if they still sell this in the stores. I'm not sure. But if they do, this is one that I would buy in full size with a lotion. Because it just smells so like summery and fun. And then I picked up this one for $0.25. Cents, and this is Endless Weekend. And the small ones don't seem to have a scent description. The last one is what it says it smells like, coconut and lime. This one, I don't know, it smells kind of like flowery and like sunshine. Maybe some kind of apple or something. I also have Beautiful Day and it smells similar to that, but not as like strong and apple-y. Um, I picked up this beauty product and this is Talika Liposills and it's supposed to be like a conditioner type thing for your eyelashes and these were all still sealed there was a lady who worked for the company and they're changing the packaging or something I don't know and this was three dollars okay and that's it for the yard sales I went to a consignment shop and I picked up this and it was a lamp but I took it apart and I'm not sure what it used to be. I was thinking maybe a funnel, but it's got like this little thing here where it looked like it would have had a lock or something. And then over here, it's got a hinge too, and it's got the number 23. So if anybody knows what this really is, leave a comment for me below and let me know. I just thought that the brass on it was really cool, and I took the light stuff off, and I'm just going to have it kind of like as an oddity sitting on a shelf. And then I've got some TJ Maxx, uh, two finds from there. The first is this little ceramic pitcher, and this was $3.99. And it's just white with brown on the top, and I like it because it looks kind of like an ironstone. They make it almost look metal, too. 
So I mean, it's got just kind of like that neat vintagey feel to it, even though I'm assuming it's food safe because it says microwave and dishwasher safe. But I'm gonna just set it on a shelf, maybe even use it for flowers. And then the other thing I picked up at TJ Maxx was this little pot, and this was $3.99. And they had a couple styles of this, but I liked the rosemary one. And it's just like um, concrete, and this is kind of like etched in. And then it says Rosemarinus. So maybe it's like Latin for it. And they had a couple other ones there. They had, I think, basil and parsley as well, but I just thought that this one looked the prettiest. Um, so I'm using this right now to hold a potted plant that I have. I think this might be the perfect size for the Ikea ones too. I'll, um, I'm going to try that out later as well. And I'll probably end up going back for the other two if they're still there in a few weeks because I'll start thinking about it and then I'll, it becomes like an obsession. But uh, yeah, so those are my weekend yard sale finds. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I don't know if I'll have finds next weekend. I'm going to be going to the Country Living Fair. So hopefully I'll have a video of something that I picked up there as long as the prices are okay. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.